You feel like there's just like this heavy weight on your shoulders. It feels like you're kind of like a spirit. You're not a solid person, like you're just floating and you just feel kind of like far away from everything, you know? You wake up every morning and you're like, it's another day. And then you want to go back to bed and you don't want to go and do anything. You don't want to go see your friends. You don't think anything matters because nothing matters. So depression and anxiety are mental illnesses that are extreme feelings. So when you think about the regular day, people feel sad, they feel anxious. Those are normal feelings. But when those feelings are disruptive, when you're so sad that it's hard to get up and go to school in the morning, or you're so anxious that you can't do your daily activities, that's when it starts to become a mental illness and it starts to be something that needs extra help. In young people today, depression and anxiety are becoming more common. I realized when I was, had depression around middle school when I was feeling really down and very suicidal and that caused me to go to the hospital in which I was diagnosed with depression. It was kind of horrific because when you're in that state of mind you literally can't care about like anything. You can't care about getting dressed. Like I still feel this constant heaviness weighing on me all the time. I still always feel down. I'm always tired. I wasn't eating. I was really unhappy. I was sleeping for like 24 hours straight. The biggest misconception about depression that I know of would be when people who are depressed, they're not really, they are sad because that's one of the symptoms, but it's more or less they have this constant feeling of sorrow and that leads to very bad thoughts, um, such as suicidal thoughts. The second one would be the idea that you can't recover from a mental illness. So in reality, there's a lot of ways to recover. It may look individually different for each person, but you can learn how to cope with a mental illness and still have a very healthy, happy, successful life. First of all, it's genetic. My mother has it, my grandfather had it, and other than that, it's very biological. I would tell someone who has depression to uh, try your best to fight through it, because while there are sources out there that could help you, the only person who can really get out of depression would be you and yourself. So um, don't let others get you down and fight for it with your own, fight through it, fight with, you know, have willpower, get perseverance. I would tell someone else going through depression, um, I would remind them that it's not permanent and that it does get better. Um, it does take time and sometimes it can take a long time, but it does get better. It's going to pass. When you're depressed, you think this is the end. It is never gonna get better, but it will. And if you keep telling yourself that, it will one day eventually. There's more to life. And if you can just not wait for a bad thing to pass, like you need to endure it or you need to have the strength to do that, but it's that you can keep yourself here for the time being and then you can start to work things out. And if you just take that, piece by piece, just wait and see for what comes.